So Eyeless just came out with the oil update, and it's turned out to be a pretty amazing way for making a lot of money. So today, I am officially starting the largest oil business in all of islands. So on my current island, as you can see, I have all kinds of other stuff going on. I got a tree farm. I got a carrot farm, uh, which could be any other kind of farm as well. Uh, and I have this little tiny oil setup. Hey, guys, obviously, this isn't going to cut it. But guys, I was thinking to myself, I want to be number one. I want it to be impossible for one to be greater than my oil production. So I'm going to be starting a safe slot just dedicated to producing oil at the fastest, most efficient level possible. So what I'm actually gonna do, guys, I'm quickly gonna transfer my most important, valuable items to an alt account so that way I can actually have them on my new account as well. So I'm taking everything down with me, baby. Give it all to me, man. Pump check. Oh my God, this takes forever to break. <laughs> All right, baby, here we go. So I've actually prepared quite a lot for this. All of these chests have been filled with necessary items that I knew need for my oil farm. So yeah, let me take all of these with me, baby. Munch, 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 munch. And there it is. We've taken all of the items. There's only one thing left. And that is this thing right here, baby. Give it to me. And I will hereby crown you to hold my axe for like a minute. <laughs> All right, guys, brand new safe slot. We're going solo. Let's freaking get it, baby. All right, guys, here we are. And as you guys can see, I have nothing. All right, time to give my other account everything that I own. <laughs> All right, this is going to take a little while. <laughs> All right, guys. So a little while later, I finally have everything that I need on my brand new account. And what I'm going to start off doing, because guys, believe it or not, I have thought about this. I have thought it out very well. Guys, what I did right before I decided to actually switch this slot, instead of just giving myself a ton of money, which would have just obviously been all right, I actually did something very clever. Here, look at this. So I'm going to quickly buy a bunch of booths. <laughs> all right, now that I have all the booths that I need, guys, look at this. Instead of just giving myself a bunch of money. I gave myself a metric ton of carrot crates. 3.6 million bucks worth. And by selling this, what I should find myself is instantly able to enter the economy. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Okay, I cannot quite yet sell stuff. But yeah, I actually, I thought I would only get level 25. I actually got up to 47, which is insane. But yeah, dude, this is a very good start to all of this. Bro, I gotta be able to sell my stuff. So yeah, let's start off right away. This right here. So this right here is my very first um copper node. So I'm actually gonna have to use every single one of my copper nodes. Okay, it didn't instantly give me an oil node. That's all right. I was hoping it would give me oil right away, but it didn't. It's not the end of the world. All right, so let's start off with a very simple little, uh, little setup right here. For my uh my copper node. So this is where everything's gonna come out. Alright, let's power this but let's power this puppy up, man! Alright, just like that. Perfect. So yeah, we should actually start making coal now, which is actually exactly what we need. Now I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, one of these drills actually produces about enough copper to feed into two farms. Like uh smelters, two smelters. Oh, it's already going! Oh my god! I can't believe it! Okay, here it is. This is what I was looking for. A randomizer. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna place myself a randomizer. Yeah, randomizer right away. Just like so. Now, one thing that I'm kind of wondering is actually, is there enough outputs right here to actually get like four outputs from? Because there might be. Like, is there enough um, uh, uh, copper is what I'm talking about. I wish I would just remember this. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is actually a four-way splitter right here, but I'm not even sure if I actually need it to do a four-way. I think two is enough. Yeah, I think this is excessive. Here, okay, take take out half of it. <laughs> all right, now we got to turn all this copper into nice copper. All right, boom, boom. Two smelters. Yes, sir. All right, boom, stone brick. Oh, yeah, baby, that's perfect. So yeah, we should now actually already be producing some beautiful copper. Here, let's see. Yeah, baby, we're going. Oh my God, dude, the 14 level's just going through the roof, man. <laughs> all right, so I just did a little bit of experimenting and I have a pretty, good idea for what would make the like literally i think i don't know correct me if i'm wrong we're probably one of the best steel farms because i'm also gonna have to use steel and uh yeah it's like a pretty important part of actually making like all this stuff so yeah here, let me show you what i got okay so this stuff is just currently dropping on the floor which is not great um not great but uh it'll do for now <laughs> so yeah on that side we have steel or uh, copper my bad now i'm gonna have to build quite a huge uh steel setup so i'm actually gonna go out like a decent ways because it's kind of gonna be a bit of a byproduct and we might as well create because i mean this is going to be the greatest farm all ever made so yeah i'm just going to go out a decent ways just like so all right here we go so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to start off by uh you know obviously dropping in coal and iron <laughs> because if we don't do those things um we won't be doing great iron coal now what i could do is i could make
make these go directly into an industrial smelter, uh, just like this, and then power a, um, which we call it, a steel press from there. But there's a lot of materials that you'll lose if, if that's the way you do it. So what I'm actually going to do instead is I'm going to place myself a randomizer just like that. Then right here, I'm going to place myself one conveyor, an industrial smelter right there. And I actually need a coal totem right here. Wait, no, wait, I don't need coal totem right here. What am I doing? Yeah, you don't need this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't go straight into there. All right. So that's somewhere around there is where the steel mill is going to have to go. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to go down. Wait, no, I'm an idiot. I did this the wrong way around. Okay. Yes. These go directly. <laughs> These go directly into an industrial smelter. And then the output of the industrial smelter gets randomized. Okay. Everyone in the comments is getting so mad at me. <laughs> They're like, no, you're doing it wrong, idiot. My bad. All right. I need to go down one more so that everything is still in line with uh, this one right here. Perfect. And I'm going to go all the way over to here. And then right here, I'm actually going to place myself a steel mill right below the other one. Actually, wait. I need to figure out the right distance first. All right now, I just need to make sure nothing drops off the map. Boom, baby. All right. Then right there is going to go the steel mill. And it's going to go right here as well. So I'm going to delete these two. Boom. And there it is. The ultimate steel setup, baby. Let's go. Oh, wait. Actually, I forgot to convey it. <laughs> It needs the conveyor, okay? So now the only thing I really still have to figure out is to see if this actually provides enough coal. If it doesn't, I can add in a second coal totem. That is very easy. Oh, wait, crap. I actually need more iron totems. <laughs> okay, that should be better. All right, now all I need to do is actually combine back together these um, uh, like the, these outputs, like so to say, just like so. Actually, I gotta go forward one. Oops. All right, cover up all the openness. All right, boom. So yeah, this right here is actually perfect. So, so yeah, some of the things that make this thing as good as it is is that it's actually tileable. So, currently there's one smelter that is powering two of these uh presses and the reason for that okay i think i actually need a second coal totem which is all right but yeah the reason that that's so important is because industrial smelts are pretty uh, expensive so you don't want to waste them <laughs> all right now currently everything is falling out the world so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hook this up to a steel press just like so boom baby and i actually don't know what i need the most of right now so to do a lot of the stuff that i'm gonna have to do i'm gonna have to use steel plates and i don't have any right now so i'm actually gonna start set this up with steel plates to start with and yeah they're all and they're actually also the most ex uh, expensive one. So yeah, that's actually good. Awesome. So let me actually show you exactly why it is that this farm is so good. So what I'm going to do exactly in line with the previous design, I'm going to start off another one. So let's see, go like this. One coal totem, two iron. All right. So yeah, guys, as you can see, I can set up an entire unit of the next farm as compactly together to the other one as that is possible. So yeah, this is, I think on paper, like the most efficient way that you can farm steel. You could make it maybe a little bit more efficient if you kind of neglect the idea of wanting to actually use all of the materials that are produced but this way there is pretty much nothing left over that is just kind of going to waste all right so now both of these steel mills are running perfectly all right so what i could do right now is i could either set up another steel press i could even take this input and put it into the other steel press but what i'm gonna do for now is i'm actually gonna kind of keep it simple stupid and uh, i'm just gonna <laughs> and i'm just gonna throw it into chests i mean there are plenty of instances in the future where i'm gonna have to need this stuff so i'm just gonna place it right here so yeah a little bit of steel setup right now let's go Dude, look at how compact everything is, man. Everything is literally like in a little clump right now. It's so good. All right, now, because it actually appears to me that it's gonna take a little while longer to get a bloody gold note, I'm actually gonna just throw all this stuff right here into an actual uh, copper press. <laughs> there you go. And I'll start off with rods. I don't, I, mean, I don't know. I don't think I really need any copper molded stuff. I'm mostly gonna have to use red bronze, but I need gold notes to actually be able to produce that, or at least efficiently. I like how I'm just ruining the island as well, bro. I don't care about this island. I'm gonna rip it all out anyway okay i'm gonna make a beautiful beautiful island right here guys you guys are all gonna get your minds blown i have so many cool ideas for future projects on this island man you guys aren't ready so let's see i'm not sure what i need to actually get more nodes to spawn because currently i got that set up right there i got myself a little bit of a copper set up right here but what do i need to get to get more freaking like 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 a gold node more copper nodes you know what is popping man you know what guys just because it's it's you know it's making me a little bit annoyed that there's only two of these i'm actually gonna build one more uh steel press station because you know it needs to look good you know what i'm saying dude this is actually such a good thing to even start off with like this is honestly like a really good setup like holy smokes bro it's expandable dude it literally does everything i need all right that is now three steel press setups um it, it's a total of six steel presses but that's just because one uh smelter drives two of them dude this is a setup and a half bro look at how compact it all looks man it looks insane now i've actually made the decision that i think i want to just merge all three of these into one uh copper or, or steel press for now so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna just 
just do that real quick. I'm just gonna merge all three of them together. I mean, I didn't even explain it because it's so simple. So the way that I would do it nowadays is probably with a merger uh, because it's actually a really good uh, thing to use. So let's say we move all of the items to the uh, to, to this side right here. So let's do it just like this. All right, we're gonna make all the items go right, right here, and into there, left, right, into there. Okay, I'm actually one merger short. <laughs> Uh-oh! How do I make one of these? Oh my god, they take crystallized iron? Holy crap. I didn't actually know that. Wait, why did I just craft that, bro? I can do it without it. That is the stupidest thing. Why is that so expensive? That is like the most like unnecessarily expensive crafting recipe ever. <laughs> Oh, well, I made one anyway, so it's fine. Okay, here, we're gonna go this way. Boom, just like that. Straight into there. And then right here, we're gonna make our copper press or our, our steel press. All right, baby, here we go. Plate mold and let's go. So yeah, guys, you can actually like infinitely merge all of these together. So if you could, if you'd want, you could have like a hundred of these set up, but um, your item limit's kind of gonna get like screwed. So I don't know if I would recommend that. <laughs> I just dropped one of these things into the void. A, a, a merger. Are you actually kidding me? I dropped one in the void. Dang it, they're so expensive, bro. Oh, that was an accident. Oh, well, what? Whatever. <laughs> All right, dude, look at that, man. That looks so clean. All right, let's see how our copper factory is doing. All right, six copper rods. Pretty good. I'd say the main thing that we currently have to wait for is more like different nodes. I think what I might have to start doing is just mining a bunch of different stuff, chopping down a bunch of trees, all of that goodness. Because currently, when you look at my skills, it's a little bit uneven. I have level one farming, level two wood cutting, level one mining, level 47 economy, and uh, what else? <laughs> level 31 forging. So yeah, it's everything is a little bit like uneven right now so i think i'm gonna have to balance those out and hopefully some different nodes are gonna start spawning but yeah guys with that i'm gonna be ending off today's video guys if you haven't already please like the video and subscribe to the channel and turn on your notification bell if you haven't already guys we're so close to 300 000 subscribers which is absolutely insane and i'll see you guys in the next one boys peace out everyone and bye bye